So Dicky is like that, huh? You just want to strip a man of the title, the man that carried your company for the past year. You want to go ahead and take the belt off of me? You want to pull a little swerve? You want to do a little internet angle? Well, hey, I got an angle for you. It goes like this. Now, here's the story, Dicky. The reason you don't want me to be the champ is because I'm too much of a draw for you. I am too much of a heel. I'm the man that calls the shots out locker room, not you. You know what, Dicky? It's just a prime example of why booking in the state of Florida sucks. <laughs> a finish that you called, mind you, with the false tap, me pinning him with the big dump one, two, three. Remember, wrestling is a work. You called the finish. I did the finish. You want to strip me of the belt? You know what it comes down to, Dicky? Does it come down to me asking for more money? Is that what it comes down to? You can't afford to pay your top guy more money. You can't afford to pay your damn draw more money. It ain't about not liking Newport Richie. Hell, I love Newport Richie. In fact, right now, I'm at ACW, and I love Newport Richie, and the people in Newport Richie love me. Let's take a look at this, chump. That crowd's waiting for the I'm champ. The what? champ is right here. Let's tell them about it. Come awesome on, let's match. Stick around, don't forget about all the specials. <laughs> so you get on there, you have your little fake press conference. That was the worst, worst bit of public speaking I've ever seen. Kid, what grade did you graduate from? Third, fourth, maybe fifth? Hell, my dog could have given a better press conference than that. You're stumbling over words. You don't know what's going on. Hey. Let me show you what a real wrestling crowd is. You know, not like 25 people that usually draw, but actually people. Come on. There's one Tyson Thompson or Tyson Tomko. He meant to say Tyson Tomko. You know, a star. A star. Not quite as big of a star as a Marquis Bruce Santee, but a star nonetheless. You wouldn't know about that because your only star is done with AWA. We've had our ACW combat champion ask for some promo time, and we're going to hand it to him. So we're going to bring him out right now. This is a prime example of why people think Florida Wrestling's a freaking joke. You know why? Because you booked these dusty finishes. Finishes again that you booked, not me. Well, hey, Bruce, here's what we're going to have you do, brother. You know, uh, I'm busy eating my five Big Macs right now. I'm busy shooting my insulin because I'm such a diabetic because I'm so fat. I'm, I'm busy. I'm, uh, Bruce, um, we're going to need you to, what, what, what we're going to, Amy, involved in tap out, ref no see, um, big dump, finish, champ you, after Eric beats Leon, booking 101. I tell you what, Dickie, you are a booking genius. You pulled a fast one on me, though, didn't you? You see, me and Eric Stevens, another man I have so much respect for and has gotten so good in his business. And Eric, I always have a pleasure working you. Me and Eric Stevens go out there after he done had a match, bust our asses to entertain the 15 people you had in the crowd paid. There was 70 or 80, but the marquee let him in through the back. Anyways, we entertain the hell out of your crowd. We do your little finish a week later. You want to post some stupid shit on your website? Talking about, oh, um, 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 this is my press conference. Um, sorry, I need my Big Mac. Um, I congratulate Spanky, um, um, insulin. Um, um, Malone, champion of Florida, yay. I'm Merritt Richard Dickey, great stuff. Um, shut up, dude. Seriously, who's buying your stupid crap anyway? You want to talk about this angle? You want to make yourself look all high and mighty? Let's talk about it what it boils down to, Dickey. What it boils down to is your star, your draw. The Marquis Bruce Santee, the top name in the state of Florida, soon to be the man straight to the WWE. It's talking about your draw, asking to be compensated a little bit more for working your shows. Hey man, is that too much to ask? I carry your belt, I do everything you ask, I'm a company man, I put Kenny King over three times, even though I'm the champ. It was great, I had the best feud in Florida with him. You want to strip me of the belt, huh? Is it because you're an FIP mark? Is it because you're a ring of honor mark? What, is it because I don't wrestle that style? Is it because I'm too jacked up for both those promotions? Is it because I'm too goddamn good of a promo cutter to be in either one of them and run circles around every single one of them on the microphone, run circles around them, every single one of them in a real fight? Is that what it is, Dickie? 
<laughs> you got yourself in a whole lot of shit now. You see, I'm professional, and I'm gonna keep this professional. I ain't gonna come to your show. I don't want your stupid little rematch. I quit. Plain and simple. AWF can kiss my ass. You drew 75 with me, you'll draw 15 without me. I know where you live. I know where you work. I know where you eat. I know where you sleep. I know your wife. I know your past. I know your future. And you'll pump me out like I'm some little green boy. Like one of your little punks. Like one of your little do boys. You'll treat me like that. A star. The marquee Bruce Santee. Hell, you're gonna treat the person Bruce Santee like that. You got another thing coming, baby. Every dog has his day. Even the fat ones. <laughs> and your day's coming, Dickie. You know, they always say, revenge is served best on a cold platter. <laughs> Remember that, fat boy.